What's a trip to Wisconsin without going to a cheese store? We are in the Wisconsin Dells area and we're going to go inside and check it out. Look at this huge selection of cheese curds. The freshest curds will squeak on your teeth, so they're called squeakers. The horse looks so realistic. Here's some waxed shape cheeses, lots of different shapes and themes. A lot of the cheeses, they'll give you a free sample so you can test it out before you buy it. Look at the size of those wheels of cheese. Also some chocolates and fudge. Ah, the cheese hats. Lots of uh, syrups and jams and jellies and pickled products. Lots of other kind of food things. It's a, a gift store and a cheese store. Some specialty meats and sausages. Looks like we have some cow pies and udder fingers. Every kind of cheese slicer and cheese grater, everything to do with cheese is available. And here's your very own pair of grass flip-flops. All right, we are all done in this store, and now we are going to head down to Madison, Wisconsin to see the Geology Museum at the University of Wisconsin. It is a free museum to get into, and we are going to go check it out. Here we are inside, and here's the entrance. This is a cool model of the Earth slowly rotating. Very cool. So let's go inside and see what they have. This is a really pretty stained glass window that they have. Very nice. Well first we have this spectacular collection of rocks and minerals and this whole room is just filled with different kinds of specimens. Here is a little look at the overall room. Very nice collection of rocks and crystals and minerals and all kinds of different gems and colors. You can see the scale of how big some of these are. Look at some of the intricate detail and the color green on some of these.
here is a map of Wisconsin and the different types of rocks that are in the parts of the state, different layers. Also says that red granite is the state rock of Wisconsin. It's really amazing the amount of specimens they have for a free museum. Uh, some of them are local specimens and some of them are from the other side of the earth. Look at the colors. Look at this one. Wow. Love the blue on that one. Here is a huge copper nugget that was found up in Michigan. It weighs 1,300 pounds. A little bit of a scale for you. All right, we're getting into different types of rock. This is metamorphic rock. Some volcanic rock in there. And uh, now over here, we have uh, rocks that were formed maybe in the ocean floor or seabed, sedimentary rocks. Here is a beautiful collection of some colorful, very colorful rocks. They say this is a glacial hitchhiker. It was moved by glaciers to this area. It's not native to the area. Here we have a showcase of mineral diversity. Look at the different colors and shapes, crystals and points. from all over the globe. Alright, we are going to enter the black light room and see how black light affects different rocks and minerals to see which ones will glow under the black light. Here they are under regular light. Just looks like plain ordinary rocks and crystals.
<laughs> and now you can see some of them will glow. We have greens and blues. Oh yeah, your shirt's glowing. Ones that look like they were ordinary. Look, I see red. Bright green in there. A lot of them, a lot of different colors. This is like a little cave, little stalactites and stalagmites as we make our way through. It's just uh, a replica. Now we are in the section of fossils, and these are specimens that have coral fossils in the rocks. And here is some snail specimens fossilized in rocks. Some clams. Here's a specimen that was off of the seabed. Look at the size of some of these specimens. This is a cephalopod. Colorful and beautiful, intricate designs. Here is a room where they work on putting uh, dinosaur skeletons back together, where they clean up fossils and uh, work area. We're going to go into the next room where they do have the dinosaur bones and skeletons. Look at the little shrimp uh, preserved in the rocks.
a large crawfish, and there's a crab. We are moving out of the fossil area and now we're into the dinosaur bone area, skeleton area. Look at the size of some of these teeth. I wouldn't have wanted to be in the water with some of these fish. A little bit of the history that most of these museums are telling us that the Midwest through Kansas and Colorado and, and uh, South was all an ocean at one time. So that's why there are so many fossils found in Kansas and Colorado. And now we are entered the room where they have their skeletons. There was lots of dinosaurs that were really large, and then there were some that were just very, very tiny. They either were considered amphibians or reptiles, not sure. And a lot of these specimens were found nearby. They pushed up later on the ocean and the beach, pushed, pushed down the crust of the land and made the mountain. This uh, T-Rex skull was found in South Dakota. The skull was found in Kansas. And here is a woolly mammoth. Look at the size of those tusks. And here is a collection of miscellaneous bones and skulls and pieces of skeletons. Saber 
Tooth Tiger. Here's some more really large teeth. Some of the teeth of the woolly mammoth. This one looks like an ancient turtle, a giant turtle shell, hard shell, and a tail that they used as a weapon. And that is it for today as we head out of town. That is our free things that we did here in Wisconsin today. And make sure to watch for our next up-and-coming videos as we travel around Lake Michigan.